What's going on everyone? Juicebags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Here we are on floor number 68. I will at some point make it through this AP reset, y'all. I promise ya. However, we are still plugging our way along, and we are on the Crumbled Bulwark. Floor 68, let's hop right on in and get this done. Now, first things first, down below we've got Psyguard Wompity Womps with Phased and Lethargic. Now, uh, up top, we got EMP Stabbies. They've got Controlled Burn on them, so I'm gonna want to get a little bit of poison headed in that direction. Now, we got Omega Squad Beta with Brittle and Vampiric right here, and merging with that lane will be Psy Lava Whompers, Enraged and Detonator. Uh, we got some EMP stabbies rolling in with proximity. We got a game ogre right here. Timmy with spellbreaker and long shot. I'm actually going to ignore. I think I'm going to ignore both of those mutators, to be honest with you. And then EMP dargons with pilot on this way. Now, uh, we're going with those boom servos still. So I got sky guards with support boom. I got flame auras with gobu boom. Uh, we've got some reflect beams in the mix with a melee boom. Proton Beams with Melee Boom as well, but more importantly, Poison Servo. Uh, we've got some PDTs with uh, Chaos Boom and Anti-Goblin. And then the lovely Earth Shatter with a Mini Boss Boom and Controller. Completely using this because of the Controller, obviously not for the Mini Boss Boom, but it meets the requirements of what I was looking for for this playthrough, and that was Boom Servos only. Now, uh, first off, we know we've got Controlled Burn right here, so let's just go ahead and get a little bit of poison on them, and, you know, I think that will probably actually get it. We're going to throw a Flame Aura over here to uh, assist with a little damage as well once those guys get poisoned up. Now, down below here, with this Psyguard Whopper, Cyborgs equal Cyborg Trap, which equals Reflect Beam. So, let's go ahead and go with... Uh, Let's see, let's start off just with a Proton, and we'll do just the big V shape. Um, and then, you know, I think we'll just go with kind of Old Faithful and just kind of wrap it up with a Reflect Beam to protect that front node. And then the Cyborgs will slam away at this bad boy over and over again, of course, because I'm using the Automation Shard. Uh, not upgraded, it still gives you the effects of a 10 out of 10 Chaos 8 Tenacity, and 100% protection versus cyborgs uh, with this reflect beam. So let's see. Then we're going to want uh, some flame ours down here. So we got a little damage going off. Let's just throw one there. And we'll throw another one, say, right there. And you know what? Why not get one in the middle as well? Uh, one of the big benefits we've got on this particular map is although there's only 900 DU to spend, you can really shut this map down to three lanes. So you got the bottom lane down there, you've got this lane, and you've got this lane. Uh, everything is going to merge together. Now, of course, things get dirtied up a little bit with uh, multiple lanes merging in Onslaught, so you do want to be careful, but you can essentially shut this down to just that smaller three-lane operation. Uh, we've got more Cyborgs coming over here. Imagine that, Cyborgs in Onslaught. Who would have thought... So let's see, let's go a double proton here on this one. And uh, we're going to make sure we have lots and lots of poison coverage going right here. And of course we're going to need the cyborg trap in up front. And I think we're just going to go something like that maybe for the cyborgs. But we do want that reflect beam going throughout uh, on this proton as well. So... I'm going to take uh, another Reflect Beam, and we'll go something like that. That's going to ensure we get massive amounts of Petrify coverage all the way down through a large portion, really, of that lane. Let's see. Then we can go with uh, a Flame Aura here. And let's drop another Flame Aura here. Now, this area is where I'm going to be doing the bulk of the damage uh, as a hero. So I'm basically just going to spray down both of those lanes. Now here we got Game Ogre, um, we've got those EMPs, and we have Timmy. Now, although we do have Spellbreaker and Longshot, we've got, what, 60 of the 226 mobs are going to be Frost mobs, so 
the flame aura is going to do double damage to them. Additionally, they are all goblins, except for those couple of kobolds. And of course, I've got Gobu Boom going on my flame aura. So, we're going to have a whole lot of booming going on. Uh, these two flame auras are also going to double dip and hit that flyer lane. So, those flyers won't be an issue. Now, let's see. What do we have this way? We've got Game Ogre coming this way. I think let's just do... Uh, we got a bunch of DU left. So, let's just do the big kind of proton kill zone right here. We'll uh, double up on uh, the proton beams. We'll get uh, a reflect beam going right through the middle after all of that. In fact, we might even put a couple of them. I mean, why not, right? Let's go... Um, Let's go one like that, and we'll put yet another one directly behind it. Uh, just something like that. That's going to leave me 180 still. Lots of DU left. Uh, we can go ahead and start throwing in some flame arrows. Now, remember these flyers from this lane are going to come really low and fly down this lane. So anything you do over here uh, that's an AoE defense like the flame arrows is going to hit those flyers as well. So let's go... Something like that. I think that flame aura will be far enough out of the way where the cyborgs from this other lane that plan on coming this way shouldn't get up in there. I'm hoping not anyway. And uh, let's see, what else do we want to do? I don't think we really need to do anything else, to be honest. But if we were to do anything else, let's just spray around a little. Let's see, what do we want? Well, a PDT would be 40 more. I could put a poison dart tower right here. And that's going to give us a lot more poison coverage on that lane, but we don't really need it, do we? Hmm. What do we want to do? I think instead of going down that lane, why don't we put one up here? Something like that, maybe? And uh, just get a little bit more poison. I do have explosive poison, of course, on my PDTs, so that will help spread the poison around a little bit as the mobs get bunched up right there. Uh, we got 20 DU left. I don't really have another defense to use. Uh, so let's just get it. Let's just get it and see how it goes. I do have 320 DU left, though. So, or 320 mana. Let's go ahead and uh, upgrade this flyer lane. So hopefully we won't have to think about it too much. Uh, let's let it fly. We're just going to stack Frostfire up in this lane. And then once we get Prox going in this lane, we're going to swap over to this lane. Now remember, we're... You know, we're combining everything to just three lanes. So what that means is there's going to be a crap load of mobs all together, which just makes Frostfire even stronger as the Frostfire effect is going to just keep on passing from mob to mob throughout the whole mess. Now, we do have Game Over coming on that lane, so there's not a ton of mobs coming out to join over on that side, but there will be more than enough to keep just massive Petrify and massive Frostfire Remnants just wrecking it through that particular lane here. So let's just go ahead and let things go ham. Uh, taking a look at the mini-map, uh, everything's looking pretty darn solid, right? I think we're doing good. So how about down here? I think everything's doing good down there as well. 200 mobs left. This, mo this uh, map is a little bit of a meat grinder. Uh, depending on what lanes you get, you can get some high mob counts. Uh, however, it's really not that bad, to be honest. Let's just gather up some of the juice. The ogres are going wherever they want to go. Uh, they split. One of the game ogres came this way. And another of the little baby ogres in the game ogre lane came this way. So, a little bit derpy there. You know, it happens. One of the things you kind of get used to in Dungeon Defenders 2 is mobs going down lanes that they're not supposed to. So, nothing out of the ordinary there. Just need to uh, just keep an eye out, you know? The cyborgs, of course, are all up on that cyborg trap going ham and getting nothing done. These hard-working mofos are just not doing a dang thing over here. So, uh, those poor guys. But, you know, we're going to take advantage of that opportunity and just smoke them. We got a few flyers left, and uh, I think it's going to be GG's pretty quick. Yeah, it is done for wave one. So I think the rest of this one is going to be pretty easy going. So let's just hit upgrades up as uh, the wave is running. And basically at this point, it's uh, back to the good old game of stare at the minimap. So 
throw a few upgrades around here and there, get the Frostfire proccing, and, uh, you know, it, it is just extremely powerful. There's just no doubt. I think we're actually good here. We got all these flame ours upped. Um, let's hit the reflex too. Now, um, yeah, I just don't see there being a huge challenge getting through the rest of this map. So why don't we go ahead and finish out this wave and then we'll jump on forward to wave number five. All right, and here we are in wave number five. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, this map can be just a little bit of a meat grinder. So it was basically just waiting out all of the mobs. Now, having the phased lane down at the bottom, this lane and 18 cyborgs, this lane basically shut itself down as the 18 cyborgs would just all bunch up at the front and nothing else could get past. So that actually made the map a little bit grindy as it just sitting there waiting for all the mobs to die. But it has been pretty smooth sailing so far. I did upgrade this poison dart tower and I think I'm going to upgrade this flame R the rest of the way just to make sure there's no flyer issues. Uh, the flyers on these two lanes have just gotten smoked. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these R's, but you know, they fly low. They got a long way to fly through the R's, so... It's pretty well GG's on that one. And uh, looking like that's about it. Let's get wave five rolling here and see if we can't grind it out. You see the mob count went up to 636. So depending on what lanes you get, it can definitely turn into a little bit of a meat grinder. Um, this particular map though, is just, it's an easy one to do. The, the DU amount is generous per lane if you kind of divide the map into three lanes like this. And, um, yeah, it just allows you to stack up a ton of defenses. And you get your crowd control in and then just throw nothing but damaging defenses in on top of it. And it's just going to end up with some GG's, no doubt about it. Uh, how are we holding up? We got Quibs rolling out. Let's see how he does. I'm actually not going to DPS him and see what happens here. He's burning. Oh, Quibs actually looks like he made it through. He got petrified right at the end, but he did make it through most of the way. And then we've got a cannon ogre that's taken a nice little run here. That could end up uh, poorly if we get shot in the face by that guy. So let's just frost fire that lane up and then just kind of chill over here and line of sight him around that column. So all our bosses are dead. It is uh, just about waiting for the mobs to die off now. Actually, I spoke too soon. We got a little Thork action going here. He is up in this mess, isn't he? Yeah, I think he is buried in that pile right here. And then you see on the mini-map what's going on down below. The cyborgs just back that entire lane up. And then, you know, everything behind it is just basically stuck. So, nothing but a bunch of bunched up mobs down there for sure. Almost fail jumped right off the ledge there, but I'm actually confident we still would have got the W, even if I would have. Let's see here. Assassin's going down. Thork is just taking his sweet old time dying. Uh, we actually have more bosses now, so the bosses are rolling. Thork is just going to chillax up there in front of that cyborg trap, because, you know, at heart, Thork is just a cyborg, so he's going to behave exactly like regular cyborgs will. And now we just got the flyers, which they are just going to melt as they roll into our central here. This one's not even making it very far. Yeah, just dying off very, very quick. So that was a look at floor number 68 on Ancient Power Reset 69 using Boom Servos only. So that will do it for this time. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to click that like button. Please subscribe. And I will be back soon with some more Dungeon Defenders in all of its various flavors. Thanks again, y'all. I will see you next time around. Take it easy.